Welcome back, everybody, to ESL 1 Manila 2016! That's the year, that's right. Can actually say it's like, like the follow up year, that's the first time ESL 1 has ever been to the Philippines. You Myself, mean, first time to the Philippines. You were in ESL 1 Manila 2015, Toby? No, it didn't exist. That's what you think. I know it didn't exist. <laughs> okay. Stop screwing with me. You know I'm tired. I mean, I've been here since this the is my start first, of the day. This is my first ESL one, so don't listen to me. Oh, that's it. It'll be your last, last as well. Yeah. You're fired. God, get out. You're not allowed here anymore. I had a good run, you know. It lasted, uh, <laughs> what, six hours or something? I don't know. Yes. I got in I got in today, technically, because I got to the hotel at one in the morning, so I didn't even last a full day. Technically, this is your first series as well. Yeah. <laughs> That would actually mean you're a bigger ass than James, according to that kind of like time frame. So Winter, when are you getting fired? Winter's never going to get fired. <laughs> He's got too much knowledge to be fired. <laughs> yeah. At least one of us brings the knowledge here. <laughs> we, we, Australi we Australians are known for our uh, Dota 2 knowledge. There's a reason you don't see many of us on the competitive stage. <laughs> There's a word that goes with dumb, which uh, describes us Australians. Uh... <laughs> Time uh, to talk about Dota, I guess. Yes! Ah, there's yeah. no picks yet. We can, we can talk about whatever we want. Nah, yeah, this bands, man. The Earth Spirit taken out. Respect. <laughs> the same. Respect. Oh. <laughs> just to the hero. I don't even care about the team. It's just like to the hero. You must be dying to see Earth Spirit nerf again. He's a fun you hero mean, to cast. You mean like, Earth Spirit nerf. No. I just want everything else buff that destroys him. Yeah, I mean, say what you want about the hero. He's actually fun to watch. Like when when he hits yeah. like his clothes and Zilla, like his, okay, the, the, the only things. the only thing I think you could remove is just magnetize because it's eye cancer <laughs> every time a hero dies to it. <laughs> like it's literally cataracts. Just make it more visually appealing or grotesque. Well, not visually appear appealing. Just remove the ability. Like that's, that that would be. A good one. I'd still first pick the hero. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm fine with if it's just rotations. I'm okay with that. But it's just magnetized. Huh? How about Invoker? They, Invoker? They don't pick Ooh. Enchantress. Why would you even change it with Invoker? Because I kind of feel like like there's a lot of other heroes which are starting to counter Invoker in the mid lane. Um, Obviously, he's still really powerful. I but... think the double forge, like I think the yeah. double forge. Yeah. Really... At level, so I like the suggestion. Someone had to get level nine, but not level eight. Like, make it so you need two points in Invoke to get double Ford Spirit or something. Is that, is that really going to matter that much, though? Because Cold Snap yeah, appears to be, like, one of the strongest like, abilities Every in the small bit matters. Like, they buffed him so I'm much, like, every spell got tricky. slightly buffed, slightly buffed, and it reached to a point where the hero became so strong. Let's just lower his base damage and then pick him in combination to a Ranger to counter that. You just want some Dro Ranger, Toby. <laughs> hey, Quas Wex Invoker with a Dro Ranger aura buff. Very strong. That is insanely I'm, I'm strong. With the orchid built, with yeah, nah, you don't need orchid. You want, oh, you're going to push with dro dro invoker. You need orchid. Hey, you, you, no, go, you, you go full combat. You go full combat. So you go, you go phase Aquila drums. On invoker. Five on invoker. Yeah, sure. oh, I but, thought I thought you were gonna say the Trasco idea. Get a blade mill. Oh, on on invoker. Yeah, sure. Plasma. I like it. Where's Drasko? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Blade Mill, dude. That, that's nice. The Blade Mill's so good. Hey, legit, man. Was that actually a stab yeah. saying you have more knowledge than Drasko? That's the reason you're here and Drasko is not? <laughs> is that what you applied for? <laughs> I don't know. He just likes his Blade Mill Invoker. Yeah, it's good. Gives you armor, gives you damage, and you just run in. Like early game when you have Tornado EMP, Cold Snap. Or you could have a Quiller and Drums, which are proven to be the two like greatest early items in the game currently. Drums, drums is like the poor man's blade mail. <laughs> you, uh, the, the day Tinker becomes a thing again, I will support the blade mail build. <laughs> so, right into the Invoker partner, the Bat Rider of Ohio once more. The, this is this is very similar, funnily enough. And then they ban the Oracle, so they can. Like, I wonder if they take up both the Oracle and the VS in this game because mm. they, they were still fairly successful baiting out like very defensive yet not really effective swaps uh, from the vs i mean they have haunt so bat rider has vision so he knows when and where to initiate so it's easy for the bat so mm -hmm. i mean that's for Be speaking of which you perhaps ban spectre here do you think hmm. mm, i don't know I, I don't feel spectre was like the biggest problem it was just the, the tempo that they had Oof, like, you, well, you, ban, you, you ban spectre as i was saying you ban spectre <laughs> yeah you're fanatic and you're banning your own spectre no no i was talking about spectre. oh yeah just oh, for yeah, every... sure yeah okay, <laughs> our, our overlay cut it out yay 
Now we see a vampire and Fnatic on the Yeah, way. but the good thing about right, right. like apart from the bench and the Oracle seconds, you guys mentioned, the other hero that counters bad a lot is Night Stalker. But it's very difficult or near Five impossible for Empire to actually fit that hero because of their opening. You have yeah. Enchantress and Doom. And right, so the Doom has to be your off laner at this point. Like you're yeah. not gonna run a safe I mean, lane. You, you can run though. both of them on the off lane and have a support. What was like the, a, the other the other counter? Um, oh god, what was it? Was it the arm with Blink Dagger CK? I think was something which was actually experimented in the CIS scene. Because you do so much damage so quickly with that that you can actually catch the Bat Rider and bring him down. Team Empire. Side. What was it like? A uh, Gold Blux team? Um, Spirit. It may have actually been that, yeah. It may actually, it, it may have been Team Spirit that did it, because that they were they were running a ton of uh, the CK, but there was a bunch of CK that, that then came out of the course of the next week after Goldpike first. I don't know if he was the first one to start the trend, but it's the first one I saw at least. Team Empire get more control now, so they get the Jarrupter and the Park combo together. Doom bring a core, so we're missing more support. Ten hmm. seconds remain. Not just any puck, but the Scandal puck too. Is this, Five like, has he played any other hero in this competition so far? I, Not that I've seen. Because I know he played out of He's one of his time. games earlier on for Team Empire. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. You you have the reference computer. Oh. <laughs> oh, we yeah. just knock, give me a thumbs up. Did he play anything else? <laughs> yeah, you could look stuff up. I can't. Four, fourth puck in a row. Okay, Ten there we go. There we go. So, yeah. So diversity is one of Team Empire's strong Team suits. Uh, as Fnatic will now get Rosaria. I mean, it's really good. Was just the three heroes, the first three heroes Empire have: Enchantress, the Doom, Gyrocopter. All these heroes don't really match up very well versus Ursa, provided you get the Doom on the Ursa first before he does she... anything. <laughs> if, if they can stop the Enchantress creep from looking at Roshan too, <laughs> difficult I know. Uh, they actually have a really good line just to slip in and take it themselves. Erling and Voker combining up with the Ursa. Bat Rider for Perimeter yeah. Guard. I think the other more important reason is every time when you see a team, they have Lion. And you want to have a carry that's more self-sufficient in a lane. So you more or less compensate Lion being a little weak in the laning phase. And because Empire has Enchantress and Doom, it's very likely that they run these two heroes on the off lane to pressure your safe lane. So you want a carry that's more self-sufficient. I'll say goodbye to your Enigma, so mm -hmm. no straight up jungler. The Chen's still Chen, available yeah. in the pool if you want to do the Chen versus Enchantress play. <laughs> but it doesn't seem to always work out that well for the Chen. Mm. With the Ursa pick, I think it's less likely. If you want to go like more push oriented, like Team Chen and Chen and Voku is good even when you're against Enchantress if you have like a carry that kind of pushes better than an Ursa, but I don't know. Not not really what I'd imagine to see DJ pick up. Venge pretty obvious, but something Empire actually, they're on the dire side, but they have no real Roche taking potential. The Venge would have not just been a counter to the Batrider, but opened up Roche for them, so... I think they do have some limitations of their draft, Yeah, but they, the dire side. they wanted to pick Ten up the puck, like, because of the cores they have, they have Gyro, Doom. Like, Gyro and Doom are Five the two, other two cores which doesn't provide lockdown. Mm -hmm. So you need a mid laner that like, there's not many mid laners that can do that. Reserve they can lock down time. for a team fight or initiate a team fight. That's like Park. That's like Wind Range is not that reliable, and the most reliable is Park. So it fits their lineup. Yeah. Maybe that's the process they had. They wanted a mid laner that would actually help them execute their team fights. We couldn't Roche. Maybe you take get like a Shadow Sham and get some more lockdown, and also have Roche taking potential mm -hmm. with the Serpent Wards. It's a bit squishy, I can't remember but... the last time Empire actually played yeah, a Shaman. It's... It like... doesn't strike me as a King Art hero. Right. You, you said in game number uh... one, the Fnatic might have actually considered something like that. I but... mean, like, a hero that I thought would be good versus their heroes would be maybe Shadow Demon, but we haven't seen the hero a lot. It's very good versus Ursa, it's good versus the Bat as well. But we don't see the hero. At all. Shadow Demon? Yeah. The, the last time I saw it was played by Art Style. At... Oh, was it the game he got poison? Agonims? What? Was it the game that he actually got Agonims? I... I don't know if it was one of his recent games where maybe he did that, uh, but turn to not in that game. He never got any money to get anything mm. in that game. So this is another way of dealing with the lasso, but it's not instant. Um, they have really good team fight with the disruptor plus pop plus gyro. This really provide a lot of team fight. Good laning phase. It's at least a nice combo to keep the Ursa in check. Yeah, but if you talk about a reliable lockdown, it's just like the coil. Like glimpse is okay. It's just when you also want to see, like, like Ursa would normally go, like, early market madness kind of style. Like, should he go something more stable into something like a BKB? Because of all the magical control he's up against with mm -hmm. Team Empire? Reserve or is it still time. worth just getting that early, like, mask of madness because of your progression? 
He might still go like Master Madness, but then go for the BKB after instead of like the Aghanim. So, so Night Stalker. Uh, I, I was mentioning Night Stalker good versus the bad, but it's also good with the bad because it provides the vision, just like what the Spectre did. Or like, the bat, the last game. Do you think you can get away with just being kind of greedy, sitting in his jungle, Iron Talon, come out when it's four minutes in so, at night time? They'll probably do that, I think. Well, you could do that too, can't you? Because, like, the Ursa can just swap lanes uh, with him too, they, so they, Nightstalker will get the safe lane. They might actually just go... Yeah, that's possible, but they also might start dual lane in the off lane together, like bat plus bat Nightstalker. Nightstalker. Yeah, it's still pretty strong. Because Enchantress is going to jungle, so... You, you have two heroes, like two tanky heroes at the start of the game to slow down the Disruptor because you don't want to give Disruptor too many levels because Disruptor is very, very powerful with levels. I'm so interested to see too if like Fnatic want to aggressively me. move, like an early smoke move into Team Empire's jungle. Like restrict the Enchantress Five camps seconds. available mm -hmm. to her. Possible, it's possible. I like think the, you, the level one I think is better they than were Empire's. mentioning. It, I think it was Cap or someone else. Like whenever the enemy team has a jungling hero, you must always expect uh, the other team to actually make a very early rotation to place boards and stuff. Oh, it was the Liquid game where Jerax got first blooded. <laughs> yeah, that was the game. So we'll see whether Fnatic actually decides to do that. And uh, yep, Night Stalker doesn't have an Iron Talent, so no, no early jungling. He said it's a rotation boots from DJ. Yeah, mostly going to lane with the bat. It's more the DJ style as well. He wants to be active from minute one. Whereas a player like FY is happy to kind of sit in his jungle, farm up a little bit with the Iron Town, and then come yeah. out four minutes in. You know, I want to ask a question. You know, I think like, among all the offlaners, like Ohio is one of the offlaners that places the most wards for his team. I wonder if there's a stat for that. Like, not many offlaners actually do that. Like even Noxville when... just gave us like I look at him like Noxville get get some stats is, and he looks back at me like it's late this is like our last minute day like, I'm gonna, I'm not... stats what but, but here's the question Mark does Ohio actually buy the wards no he doesn't buy the wards he didn't even buy the TP he got pulled the TP there as well wow. <laughs> I I remember like Daryl like we were talking to Daryl was it like during TI and he was like mentioning oh, I don't like to buy wards I have to buy the wards myself. Yeah. <laughs> Even going back to his nature's prophet days for a higher, like he would get level one teleport and TP in to the enemy jungle and plant yeah. wards and stuff. So, team uh, team player, you know, Parker for sure, responsible responsible teammate. <laughs> so one rune apiece, I guess. Yeah, by the looks of it. Only gonna give it obviously to the mids. What are they doing putting a high on bat rider? Clearly, mid ones is better. Stats don't lie. Hundred percent win rate has any five point seven. Has is probably like sitting somewhere like going like, oh, please <laughs> sample size, please sample size. <laughs> so no camps are blocked. So Enchantress is gonna have free reign. So me Poshka. Let's see where whether he decides to help the off lane first. Sneaky from a higher. Uh, it looks like he's just gonna try tuck himself in to get some. Oh, he's gonna pull the oh, creeps. Yeah. pull the yeah. creeps. Nah, no, no, there... no, no classic Jimmy play. Unless Disruptor is near. Uh, he is nearish. Uh, at, right. at, at that timing, he actually, like, is she not going to be ready, right? To, to actually creep camp that? Because Ohio drives to support hit the tier 1 tower. So that's a full wave experience that Ohio yeah, will that, take. That is extremely important for a bat because it's always about getting the level 2. So you have Sticky Nate Pump plus Firefly, so you can actually start jungling. So that is extremely crucial for, for the bat. It's like. When you see teams running the dual off lane with bat riders, the other guy will be stacking jungle. So once you get two or three stacks, that hero runs back to the off lane and then bat rider goes jungle. So you get a lot of experience. Wow, that's going to strike a little bit off target. Uh, TJ stacking, like the thing you're talking about, is being watched. The dire observer was seeing practically everything that's going on there. So they'll, un they'll understand when Ohio is going to yeah. slip over to it, but can they do anything about it? Like, they're seeing it. But... Enchantry, Enchantry, grab, a, grab a tornado creep, come yeah. in, steal it. Is that possible? would be the douche play. He, yep. He's at the bottom lane right now, so he's going to be helping the Doom, like the last but, game. But helping later on, like, once, like, Batrider's not going to go straight into that camp, so you could you could theoretically make that move later as your next smoke rotation. Well, we're coming after net, they got Troll Trap into Send or Stomp. Just kind of causing problems for the Ursa, but really not that many. Now PMS makes it difficult to inflict heavy amounts of damage into him. You could see like in both of the games like how much both of these teams are prioritizing and helping the offlaners. Like you see how much they're valuing getting the offlane a good start. Like some teams they value helping the mid more, but these two teams they value helping their offlaners a lot more. Yeah, again, it's a stacking. Talk about helping the offlane as well. High is blinked out. Yeah, this is just like the nice. Oh, stuff oh he one missed the stack. Little troll. Tiny. Oh, little, little, little hill troll. That actually sucks. <laughs> he only just missed that as well. Like I had the yellow box up for it. 
Oh, so this is the way Alpha Life can do some kind of damage. That early Infernal Blade level. Man, looks like Maposhka again wants to have another crack. He's gonna run out of yeah. his skeleton minions in a moment. So he's only got the Centaur plus the Dark Troll Center again. This is really good for Fnatic if Empire is not getting any kills with the Enchantress because Fnatic is just waiting for the first night time to come. Oh, hello, King R. No, Ahai is not going to chase that. He doesn't have any mana. Never mind. So they're just waiting for either to go clear the stack so Night Stalker can get experience on offlane and maybe some experience on the stack and then wait for the night time to come. So hopefully when that comes, Night Stalker's like maybe level 3, 3.5 and, and then they'll look to make plays after that. So if Enchantress doesn't, I think before that happens, it'll be Fnatic's time to actually try and take control of the game when night falls. This is this is when Observers start to freak out. Because where the hell is First Blood going to be coming? This middle lane between Scandal as well as mid one has kind of been all out kind of brawling. And Scandal can only <laughs> take him to just have a little bit of extra mana on him and he can, and he can make well, this That's what play. we saw last game, where it was the, uh, almost what well, was close to a, a solo kill in the mid lane <laughs> with the turnaround. Well, Mike, Mike Maposhka's bringing down enough creeps they could easily dive underneath the tier 1 tower against the Ursa 2. And then top, you've got Glimpse into Rocket Brass, so... Uh, <laughs> small, small Z tower. Pressure's on Toby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're fine. We'll be fine. Okay, so 30 seconds tonight. And Bat Rider's going to clear. Oh, no, he doesn't have a uh, mana for Firefly. XY is very common, you know, Bat Riders when they go offlane, they have like one clarity piece just to clear stun. Afterlife, trouble. Already started for that quick attack. Afterlife net. Is one more attack oh. gonna do it? No, he's got a Centaur stuff. A uh. War Stomp creep actually wow. saved the Doombringer's life. And he gets back to a tier one tower. You clearly had no faith in the War Stomp, you know? Like, even from the last game, you're like, Dude, what? Who does? I, I like, just any. Go, really, really. Wait, are, are you gonna lay that one on me saying <laughs> that I should have faith in a War Stomp, in a Centaur, and no Aura creep? And a stomp that costs you a hundred mana out of your two hundred and fifty. Well, ball. can't argue with the results. It actually saved him. <laughs> True. True. Would, would you like to judge that a little bit more from your armchair? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So nighttime falls and Bear Rider is taking the stack right now. So this is looking good for Fnatic since Enchantress didn't get any anything done in the first four minutes of the game. You say it's looking good for Fnatic, but you look at like the CS chart right now. There's a, there's a lot of red dire heroes up there doing well. Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm just looking at like the hero and uh, hero composition and the potential of what you can actually execute in the first in the early game. And even though it's nighttime, I still feel like Empire are very stable, strong lanes. It's not like mm -hmm. there's any clear openings for Night Stalker to say, oh, if he goes this lane, he can set up a kill. Just a safe lane, I guess. Yeah. But the Night Stalker didn't really pick up that much anyway to, to start his rotation. So this guy's level three. Like, he needs more time on the lane. Yeah, he's gonna start to move soon, I guess. Like, I think bottom lane is like, the, their safe lane is like the easiest thing to get a kill on. Unless they rotate another hero to top. And DJ does have a TP, so... You either rotate what plus one hero towards top lane or DJ TP. Okay, he's gonna oh. TP bottom lane. Ah, bottom lane, here's the attack. Nice son, Maposhka. Oh, he's still alive. No, he's not. DJ will come in. The void to do the job. They've still got the Duke and Creep ready in one second time. He's body blocking up TJ, making it difficult oh, to get away, allowing Scandal his time to rotate down to get the Dream Call follow up orb. So a two for one trade off. And looks like first blood, there's that glimpse into Rocket Barrage we're talking about. Ohio had a lot of six shots up his sleeve, and now he's actually going to turn to Firefly up. He'll oh. take a kill, he almost got killed, and he's actually going to get it with a follow up stun from 3 4 3. He turns 0 into 2. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We actually, because that, that was so close, we actually get the results in the team fight recap from both the top and the bottom lane fight. And regen. Like, a regeneration rune for Baida. Alright. I mean, he deserves it after those plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real thing. 343 as well, getting involved at the end. It's going to do wonders for his level progression. Oh my God. And Ohio is going to trigger regen. Firefly up. Oh, he's he's uh, now going to do it. There's your hex. 343 does the leather sun available, which will mean an extra two sticky napalm charges and Ramsey's. Even Flame breaks back in again and he'll burn out. That is now two very quick deaths, but at the same time, the invoker was picked off by a, uh, I'm assuming, a smoke movement from Team Empire. I don't know. Not sure. Disruptor had a smoke. All his spells were up. I no, yeah, they did. They, they, did use, they did use one smoke. Yeah. Okay. So it was used by Enchantress then. Right. Interesting. Yeah, this this bat rider is having a hell of a game, and we're just seven minutes in. Two zero one, not too shabby. Yep. Normally it's the nice stuff you look to see like those early plays out, but DJ like well, he's involved in the bottom one at least. 
Oh, oh mid one. Oh, you yes. can't TP onto a tower. Does he have sunstroke? Uh, he should be able to. Oh, cool down. He's uh, cool. For the Forge Spirit, it's obviously a really, really weak unit. He's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you actually ha defensively have to use a smoke to escape a Forge Spirit. Okay, he's gonna try for the sunshine. One second. See? Invoke. No, he's not gonna try. Invoke. Oh, you gotta at least go for it. Invoke. Wait, it just wait till he gets back to base. Like, that's time to get back to base. <laughs> nah, he's not gonna try. <laughs> Soft. So there goes another smoke for Empire. I mean, that's gonna affect the tempo of the puck especially. Because you don't want to like, waste too much smokes early game. Because when the puck gets the dagger, you want to be smoking around, getting the kills and initiating the fights. Because of the move back by at least the disrupt, like, now the T1 tower in the mid lane takes a little bit of extra damage. We've seen teams, like, throw their bodies against these towers to protect them throughout today's games. Yeah, like, tower is like map control and map control is very very important when the game is played at such a fast pace you know like you want to be able to back up faster than your opponent mm -hmm. you want to have like more heroes in a certain area especially like the towers near the roshan like all this is very very important for the early to mid game and especially a team which is always looking to stack up to get that like bat rider blink dagger up a little bit earlier the jarakov will be looking for he all almost, of his stacks as well he almost has his blink already like, again, like, with Bottle and Tranquils this early, with Blink. Yeah, you maybe see, like, an 11 Tormir Blink dagger if you just go Brown Boots Blink, but he's he's not skimping. He even has the magic stick to go with it, so... How's the puck looking? Uh... My puck actually went Treads as well as not Yeah, that's why, like, sometimes you see players, I think especially, uh, I, I think Dandy, like, he sometimes rushes the Blink without without the Treads. That's, it's because he normally goes, like, he goes Blink and then Boots into Midas, right? Yeah, so we can transition a bit quicker into his next set, next phase, like, Adams. The reason why players do that is because of the tempo. Like you want to get to that tempo where because if you Radiant's buy trades, you slow down your crucial tempo by maybe four minutes or five minutes. Like sometimes there's a very early fight happening and you don't have to blink and you want to have to blink for that fight. Yeah. And with a hero like Jarakov, I feel having that really timely Ooh, blink this, goes a long way. This well, wrap around. DJ's going to turn on the dark just so they won't even see it coming in net. He's ready to fight. He winds himself up, and now Ramsey gets destroyed. The Evoca Sunstrike will do the work. The Hexon 343 allows the extra control, and Net will find that kill as well. But Scandal, gotta be careful. Maplashka wants to do a little bit more damage than Impetus. Net! Oh, they get the Doom oh. the Denial! The Doom actually allowed DJ to take the kill away from them. The T1 tower on the top lane will still belong here to Team Empire, unless DJ's gonna. No! No! Okay, he's gonna lose his life for that attempted denial. Uh, should lose his life for that. Will lose his life for the attempted denial. Yep, so and Invoker, Invoker, Invoker got, got mid one. Got yeah. Mid yeah, Invoker got the mid tier, so it was okay for Fnatic. But... And the Empire just brought everyone to that fight. They were ready to take Fnatic head on. So both teams lost their carry. Like Gyro and Ursa both died. Yep. But Empire got an extra kill. <laughs> But like both trade at one tower. So I mean, it's and em Emperor had to bring five, whereas Invoca gets like a solo yeah. mid push and tower. So I feel like it's a pretty even trade all in all. And the mid tower a lot more important at this any stage of the game. So yeah, because that actually allows the uh, easier Keep access your eyes on to bottom. the rush. Yeah. Ah, Ramsey's backing up, but they may just force the issue anyway. Uh, three, four, three just hit his level six, so Finger of Death's available for them now. So they got some really good nuke. Yep. Smoke top, Bat Rider has his blink. This is the lasso sunstrike gank impossible. <laughs> I don't know, I think he didn't actually see him. He, he sticky napalmed. Oh, he, okay. <laughs> he, sticky, he sticky napalmed the entire Enchantress army. Yeah, so Mufashka gets the hell out of there. I mean, he can still TP, like, because the enemy doesn't see him, so he can still TP to bottom lane if he wants to get, initiate a fight elsewhere. But he's still not showing himself on the map, so the enemy doesn't know where he is right now. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really important when you're playing, like, Bat Rider, you're playing Beastmaster, you want to stay off the map as much as you can. Well, Empire kind of take a gamble here, because they see Ursa top, and then they also see two or three heroes bottom, so they're like, okay, which of these do we defend? Where is the Bat Rider? They, they kind of have to know with Bat Rider start, he's going to have a Blink Dagger, but you're kind of scared as to whether you defend top Bat Rider's behind net, or do you defend bottom, and then suddenly Bat Rider's going to be behind DJ. Yeah, it makes it very hard for the opponent to play. So right now, Empire, uh... They are going to have the blink on Park right now, he's 2200 gold. So they're going to wait for that before they make a move, but they only have like one smoke available. Yeah, they just got onto the Disruptor. 
Yeah, and their next smoke is on internet, so uh, they have to make this count. Well, bottom lane, this is an easier kill when half a little bit too far out. Sunstrike, it's enough earlier damage. They're gonna find in that pick off the Dream Call, okay? It's not gonna do the work Scanner wanted it to do. Disruptor already we throw on out, but King Ark could not hold them in. It's not a guaranteed controller. Even the good back over from Bid when he needs a little bit of space, turns himself around onto, onto, onto Posca. And King Ark's gonna drop. Mid one will survive. Man, Ohio even bottling the invoke like mid one in the middle of the fight. <laughs> what a player. I mean, he's just in the right place. He spends so much time hiding in the trees above the top T1 tower. And then as soon as there's a fight bottom, I'm like, oh, this could be bad. Ohio might be here. But no, he's there. He's ready. This is so quick as well. With Empire losing so many heroes, if mid one could get rid of this tower before the, before the, um, like the respawn times, then there's no TP to instantly come and be on top of that tower. Attempted yeah. denial from Enchant was gonna miss. So this means now Roshar belongs to Fnatic with no way for Empire bring in reinforcements. Yeah, and I agree with Toby as well. I think that Afterlife in the last fight was just way, he was just way too far up, like our position. Like he shouldn't have been so far up. Like Kadir and Fnatic were like missing for quite some time. So that mistake allowed Fnatic to get a tower and get Roshan, so that is absolutely huge. And unlike last game, there's no insta swap to save him or something. Oh, he wanted, the... <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to place a ward. <laughs> I think he actually placed the one at bottom T1 too when they went for that push. He kind of swung in, he at least swung in from where that ward was. I'm not sure if he planted it. I mean, it like, we had a stat earlier, but it was comparing like Ohio yeah. Placing wards with his own teammates, obviously the supports will place more wards. Like, he was I'm like, still pretty high. Yeah, I'm talking about considered. comparing him to other offlaners. Like, mm -hmm. he, he places a lot of wards. Like, I, I think him and Isis are probably the two offlaners that places the most wards for their team. Well, when you play such maneuverability, like, maneuverable here is like the bad It's a lot safer putting them out in the front lines than your supports. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially when you have a, sp a spell like Firefly, it's easier for you to get wards placed. Yeah. Probably a lot more difficult as well for your opponent to work out exactly where you put him. Because you're, you're like basically going over cliff sides and everything else. Yeah, especially when you're Prophet. <laughs> it's like, there's no way the enemy knows where you place the ward if you actually TP's into, if you TP into the trees and place them. So. See, there's your new nerf coming for the next patch, Prophet. <laughs> You'll actually have his old TP. Oh, the one where you can't actually TP into fog? Like, yep. Unexplored terror. And there's a lot of heroes. <laughs> Remember the old like anti-mage where you want to like blink juke on a cliff and it's like, oh, can't blink up there. It actually meant much more like too with like your initial scouting of trains. Like the paths they would go would like like then say like you can go this way, like you can TP onto this point. So it's even more important to kill off those trains, but not just a whole thing. Okay, so bottom tier one tower is gonna belong to Team Empire. They bring all five men. Yeah, but look at what bottom lane. I think getting they're getting that they're like occupying the enemy jungle. They're occupying mid lane, the top lane, so they are getting more space and more farm across their their heroes. Mm -hmm. But Team Empire, like we're taking out this tier one and tier two tower in mid. Shouldn't be too difficult to rotate to the tier one tower and the uh, sorry bottom lane to rotate into the mid lane to take out the tier one tower. Yeah. Mm, they I might think, be able to control Fnatic the Fnatic jungle. Though, that's the thing. Fnatic's going to be Radiant not letting Empire get too much in exchange. They, they still might... don't see that bear either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always missing from the map. We're going to smoke, actually. How many TPs have we got? Radiant's like TPs mm. on uh, Lion doesn't have a TP. In the middle lane, I guess. Let's got his. Okay, everyone but Lion has oh. a TP to, to come to this. But they're actually the Lion's being drawn down right now by three four three. Basically saying we should attack at this point. Instead, they oh. can kill couriers. Uh, <laughs> that's they, that's the, the only fight. advantage if they want to. Yeah, they want to. the fight. They're going to ignore the courier. They're hoping. H how much do you think Empire was just using that courier's bait? Like, they'll kill it. They'll Zander kill it. We know they'll kill it. Oh, Fnatic just didn't wait long enough. No. Yes, Ahai is still in a pretty good position. Yes, smoke ran out He's going to randomly blink. Lasso. Scandal right there behind him. However, and then he jumps into the middle of the drop for all these. Can he get doomed as well? The flame break starts to burn on top of Team Empire and Net. Well, he's tanking through a lot of this. Remember, he's got the Aegis, the Immortal. So even if he dies right now, what really a battle has been lost. The park is down. The Doom will join him. And the stun too short from 343. But that's that's a puck and a Doombringer going down for the cost of your Aegis, the Immortal. Mid one probably stop taking damage from the tower. Will be helpful. <laughs> That was uh, still a really like good move from Ursa to blink up. Like Net actually blinked up and he tanked all the damage with his ultimate. So that was uh, even though their initiation didn't really work out as planned because the glimpse actually cancelled the lasso, but Ursa bought enough time for his team to actually get there. So that was really good play from Net. Look at the difference in net worth. He got 9.5k over on the Invoker to the 5.9k uh, of the Tomb Ringer. That's the difference. Now, well, Finger of Death drops that dead very, very quickly. Oh, Hyde hardly even controlled him. Now, Scandal. Well, he'll actually have a nice little combination here. 
the dream call into the call down allows you to pick up the lion. The 3 4 3 is down, but Ted just turns on the enrage. Chase up after half flight, but he can't do it anymore. Scans back into the fight, and the impetus damage, if that's long enough, that will take a fall. You still have this pesky invoker running away, so they can't control him, and the Nice Soccer is also a way to safety. Yep, they just got a bit like over eager. They went for the kill behind the tower with the finger, and they paid the price for it, a very heavy price. It's kind of reminiscent of that last game where they get this lead and then you just get a little bit over eager, and needed to settle down, but it's, it's always that wake up call where it's like, okay, we've got control, let's just go back to what was working for us, slow the tempo down a little bit while still at least maintaining map control. Yeah, the secondary tempo is like the axe for the Night Stalker and obviously the four stuff on Bat Rider, those are the two key things, and the gem as well. This, these are the three most important items that they want to get on I think before they try and progress and, you know, push the high ground. Is there any other critical item you want to see on mid one too? Like he's got his, his BTs as well as his Yule Scepter. I mean, it, it's not so important whatever he gets. I think the other items that his teammates are going to get are more... Obviously getting like his Aghanims, his Nice and whatever items that are going to help him in team fights, like maybe even the BKB. But I, I feel like the other items, like I mentioned, the Aghanims, the Force Stuff and the Gem, these are the three most important items that they want to get on the Nice Stalker and the Bat. <laughs> Yeah, I, I agree with you. I mean, just looking at Empire's vision right now, they uh, they have whoops. complete control. Well, a lot of that goes back to they've got complete control of this Radiant Jungle now with in terms of wards. So that's something that the gem on Batrider can at least help deal with. X, they're going after Afterlife, but you don't have yourself a Finger of Death, so there's no burst damage against this Doombringer. Plus he's got 1600 life. He's dead. Triggers off the drops and 343. Three. Maposhka right behind him and Pettis damage galore. You'll need one more and that's it. Oh Hadouken could almost trying to steal it there from Afterlife, not going to happen. Oh. And Rand is going to come clean up the top lane. So even though they do find two kills, uh, I guess we got ourselves the game again. <laughs> How close of it? Okay. So you've actually lost almost a 5k advantage for now. Yeah, that's pretty substantial. And Bear Rider's four staff has been delayed again. <laughs> the last They're event. coming in for the fight. Ramsey's already feels it though. Maybe a little bit too early on that darkness, because it, it kind of like sprung the trap before Net was in position to make a play. Uh, he also wanted to pop it like before minute 20, before the actual night. Like, you see most of the players, they pop the ultimate before the night kicks in. Mm -hmm. So he, he still wanted to use it anyways, but didn't get the gank going for his team. So 300 go away from his force stuff on the bat. Uh, they really need the force before, before they try to make another move. How about Roshan? Roshan is hmm, in a few more minutes. And that's probably where Fnatic for now are looking to just keep these lanes pushed out, keep Empire under a bit of pressure. That Unfortunately, by doing so, they've given up a few pickoffs here and there, but yeah. ultimately, it's very much playing around their strategy. I mean, it's also the vision in the jungle that's allowing Empire to decide where the pickoffs can happen and one the vision that they this, have. This timing from 343, oh. the Observer Ward to break the smoke. Oh, no, he oh, walked no. away! A fraction of a second too early, maybe he realizes what's also happening. So he's just on the run, oh. and there's your blink. He'll get away from Scandal, they'll actually send through uh, I mean, Dream Coil, and the damage... Okay, they use Glimpse. He probably would have he died anyway to the Dream Coil that's trigger, actually, but... That's actually su such fast reactions from him. They call that muscle memory, Parker, sometimes. You know, you, you, you get stunned like immediately after that, you just double tap. I know, Winters, I don't know what that's called because I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, looks like our high is going to come down the bottom lane. There's already a very aggressive Observer Ward, which is just out of range of the sentry, so... Empire... <laughs> That really is only just Man, out of range. Look at the wards they have in the enemy jungle. Yep. Four. They've had all, all of these wards up for the last six, seven minutes, too. And this is actually literally keeping them in the game. All the last few pickoffs have happened around the area. Yep. Oh, you also have to bring the Batrider in position where you can glimpse it back just far enough. The scandal could try and make a play. TP out, there's no dream coil, but they have more than enough damage to get the kill on the Batrider. All right. Five pickoffs in a row, unanswered. I think it was 12 kills to seven. When was the last time we saw Invoker involved in any kind of action? Like, both Net as as well mid one, they've just been dodging yeah. with everything. It's, the, it's Ohio that's been getting caught out. The, the plan, it's, I think, because Fnatic are very much trying to finish off those key items, the four staff, the Aghanim Scepter on the Night Stalker. So it's like, okay, 
kind of play, play split up, try and get your farm, finish these core items, but you can't be getting picked off as you do so, but with Empire's fantastic vision, they're finding the pickoffs. Oh, 3 4 3, Sunstrike, right on top of empties, and this creates a lot more stuff. 3 4 3, however, gonna get Gloom back in again. He does have his son of Valve. Mm, okay, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he uh, tries it again. And, uh, <laughs> Bit ambitious. <laughs> He's okay with that though. Like you've, you've just got off a gyrocopter. You gave another kill to the Invoker, uh, who's almost level 16. You call that ambitious? I call that muscle memory again. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, he just used Dreamcore. Let's get some TP away. <laughs> but Roshan is up, and Empire scouts it up. They have the lads on the Doom. But Night oh. Soccer Ags, real nice time to get that for DJ. So Fnatic oh, have most of the, they buy the Invoker buys the gem. He's been. You know, involved with creeps all the time. He's the one with the. He's the guy with almost 14k net worth. Yeah. No, well, and it's he very, could do something for his team. It's very much like we want to fight now. We just got this axe. Who can afford the gem? And, and like, and no they, they realize like the reason why Empire's getting all these pickups is because of the vision that they have, and they are not able to like pinpoint the location of the ward. So they need the gem. <sighs> Here's your attack. Empire's coming down south. However, they are missing one of their players. It's the disruptor. Playing up a big control factor, and the observer was already down. So Empire's movements being watched very, very closely by Fnatic. Yeah, this fight is very, very crucial. Cool Whoever wins this fight will get Roshan as a reward. Are they even going to fight? Like Fnatic, like this observer will scout their entire team coming down. Like, don't you just dodge at this point? Like BT the invoker off the plane. But they can't leave. Like they need to. Fight oh, yeah, right they need Roshan, Roshan yeah. don't they? They're gonna they can't smoke. TP anyone up there. Okay. Die had no vision. My stalker has to give the bat rider the vision. Here they come. So the vision inside the pit, they see everything Batrider, he goes to Ramsey, he's not rolling, he goes down, but already Ramsey, he's getting fully cliffed up by Ohio, and Afterlife, he got pushed up on the hillside, he can't win, he, maybe he could throw a couple of pebbles down there, he zoomed up net, but there's just no follow through, so you've actually got two heroes, he's still burning inside the firefight, it's not enough damage, or is it, with a flame break, yeah, oh he's gonna burn out, oh they're taking God. out three heroes of Team Empire, Fnatic will make it four, as the Enchantress runs away, but net back into it, Ursa will end the unstoppable streak, and even the shards are gonna die as well. What is that kind of death animation for it? Batman is the man of the moment there. Oh my god, he just deleted two heroes for that fight. That's that clip note to that fight. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Roshan. Scandal. It looks like he's trying to go for a bit of a bomb play. Uh, Roshan just got killed by the dark. He got the last. He actually oh. killed it with the orb. Oh. All right, you something. That's that sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You still lose the Aegis the Immortal, however. That's that's gonna be in the hands of Ned. And you've just lost one huge ass fight. That's when these grubs can start swinging back up the way for that. Yeah, they actually I don't think they knew about the Agonims, that's why they were like they were not ready for that fight. Cause they thought that there's no vision for the bat rider. But unfortunately Agonims was already up on DJ, so it allowed Ohio to do what they did in that fight. It was just like he pulled the gyro up the cliff, flame break. The Doom on the other side, <laughs> basically And the then the, the Deafening Blast pushed uh, the... Yeah, it was the Deafening Blast. Oh, it was the Deafening... No, yeah, oh, it wasn't the Flame Break? No, no. Oh, okay. It was, it was Deafening mm -hmm. Blast from uh, Invoker. All right. So the fight was basically all... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> a higher cliff one, mid one did another, and... Like, at that point, nothing you can do. Man, right. like, the Disruptor even reacted. He... King R actually reacted really quickly. Like, he immediately dropped the Static Swarm when he saw... <laughs> The bear either, yeah, but, uh, on yeah. top of themselves, which yeah. is the, definitely the, the best play you could make. But, but isn't that the problem you're talking about during the drafting phase? It's not an instant control, yeah. and it's not that. Uh, you almost have to hold them in position with Dream Call first, 100%, and that just didn't happen. Yeah. Empire won't be the one getting the jump. Not if, as soon as they have to counterplay for initiation, they're in it's trouble. It's against uh, Aghanim's Night Stalker. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, so you you have to counterplay. They also them. they also take Roshan very slowly as well with their draft, so they were very much kind of taking a gamble there, hoping that praying that Night Stalker did not have that Aghanim scepter. So, uh, I mean, at least they got the Roshan kill. That's like the consolation <laughs> prize. That's, that's not a lot to write home about. <laughs> it's like, hey, you just played a Wheel of Fortune. Have a board game so you can experience all of your losses all over again. Well, at least it was something, you know, for the team. So me Poshka's gonna get his air game soon. So that will actually enhance their output, the damage output they have a lot. So he seems to be doing a lot of the damage for his team. Too. Yes, yeah, because this gyrocopter is still just an S and Y, and now, well, he has he does have the BKB done for Ramses. Just got completed 26 minutes in. I mean, it's gonna somewhat help him against the Invoker and the Lionfinger. 
So it's uh, okay. I always get concerned when a hero like that turns. Because it doesn't seem right, but it does when you look at like Man, at the dire side mini those map. Those two spirits did like almost one like one thousand damage, like with the whole thing. Oh my god. M mid mid one's just like he pulled them all up to the top lane. And then the rest of the night just take the tier two tower on bottom. And Empire have to respond to this. They can't counter push top lane. This is already getting deep onto their side of the map, so. Well Fnatic doesn't need to go anywhere. They need to wait another like three hundred and fifty gold for mid one to have his own BKB. Oh. They'll wait for nighttime too, but they can just leave the Forge Spirits pushing the lane, and those Forge Spirits will force heroes to defend, and all you need is a hero defending a lane, and that's going to lead into those lack of initiation opportunities. I mean, right now they just want to, like, contain Radiance Empire, because they have the attack. superior vision with Night Stalker, and, like, what Parker mentioned, wait for minute 28, nighttime, and just slowly suffocate the enemy, get a pick off. And Empire doesn't have a again. Empire doesn't have a very good way of like apart from the Dream Call, they don't have a very good way of picking the enemy off. EKB Scalor, yeah, doubles. God, my is going to have, have to do so much damage in this upcoming fight. Yeah, I, I think it's like he's the key hero that Net uh, can actually target down in the fight. So I think as the Ursa, you want to remove uh, the Enchantress every time you see her in the team fight. Even as someone like the the Lion, if you're yeah, three four three, true. that's true too. They still haven't delivered that BKB to mid one, but Ohio wants to jump. He doesn't doesn't find a target. That's every out of tower down now. So mm. it's Fnatic still having Aegis very much. It will turn into Empire. How the game has changed. You look at five, ten minutes ago, Empire had three or four woods up in the Radiant Jungle. They were pushing out. All it took was one Night Stalker Aghanim Scepter and complete map control lost by Empire. Uh, actually, what are they? Like, they, they have not a single ward. Yeah, yeah. It's... that's... That's kind of harsh. At the same time, Fnatic only have one Observer Ward of their own. But they've yeah, got a Night nice Stalker. Yeah, DJ oh. is the... 3-4-3 uh, for Moska. Primary target, the Deathling Blast, pushing him down, but not down far enough. As Net BKB as well as Rand going to work. Afterlife taking a fall pretty quickly. Net needs a little bit more damage with seven stacks, but he'll lose the Aegis to the Immortal. While the Gyro and the Puck, they're picking up the rest of Fnatic on the back line. The blink away will be coming out from that, and maybe now he'll try and mow down Afterlife. He'll get it as well, but now completely isolated underneath the Empire lineup. And Fnatic is it's another one of the fights where the swing just slaps him in the face. Oh my god, that was so close, he almost got the glimpse off. Man, that, that fight, they actually like, they ex over oh, really, really, really deep. They didn't get kill the Enchantress with the Finger plus Sunstrike combo. So their initiation was clean and Puck actually caught the back line there, so it was a very good counter initiation from Scandal. And they got the gem as well. <laughs> from the Night Stalker. And watch the experience in gold dip back down again. Bringing our game a little bit closer. I think like the best way again is just to wait for the bat to initiate. I think I think that's like the most secure way for Fnatic to actually start a fight and make sure that they... Well, they tried to do it, they just weren't really there. I mean, they, they started the fight the with the lion. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. You get your bat, initiates, pulls one in. Even if the even if there's a glimpse under the bat, the full staff back is instant, so that still gets pulled away from the rest of his team. And then lion can impale, finger, burst that target down, so... You force the fight where you're already positioned rather than where Empire are close to their high grounds. Mm -hmm. It's like much lesser chance of the situation going badly. Like it's much, it's much harder for the opponent to react to that. Whereas if you do it with the lion, it's not so reliable. I mean, Fnatic is still in control of the game with the Night Stalker, so it's it's like Empire's cowering inside their base at the moment still. I mean, this is the type of game where you are behind and you're against a Night Stalker, a Vision controller. So it's not much they can do about that. Mm -hmm. They should get any. No, they didn't. I thought maybe in that in that <laughs> last it. minute they could get a single obs up somewhere. But... Oh, that. Shadow Blade. Interesting. Interesting choice as well when you're going up against a Night Stalk with Aghanims and gem. Mm, oh, gem sorry, actually, yeah, there's no gem. Away, yeah. And you know there'll be another gem coming up soon again. But if Fnatic, uh, part of when you want to starve your opponents and keep them in their bases, you have heroes pushing in all three lanes, and that's where the Shadow Blade. Uh, I actually fight don't off. don't like this so much though, because I, I feel like the the only way like Empire can get back to the game is like maybe win a team fight, and BKB will probably help them better with winning the team fight. Because I'm not sure how much you can actually get done with the Shadow Blade. Well, I think you can also get back into the game by finding pickoff. Yeah, it's it's more oh. difficult because it's against a nice stalker. Maybe if against other heroes, I would yeah. say yeah, Shadow Blade can actually allow him to do that. 
I'm not sure. He might be, still be able to pull that there, off. There's a, been a number of times when the evoker is off by himself, like split pushing a lane, yeah, for that's example. True. And that's, that's true. where the Shadow Blade can help initiate. So they want they want to get a new gem. Do they have a new gem? No. Oh, one minute cooldown, I believe. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, for another minute. So you want to wait for the new gem in one minute, and Roshan will spawn about that time ago. So those, those are the things that I think you need to wait for before they make their next big move. Oh, they find an opening, and Ohio's gonna jump. Blast through, drag it back a little bit further into the sun strike, and they have they have enough damage. That is actually one tankier enchantress. Sunshine Meatball, Deafening Blast, boy. They still need to find a little bit more than this though. Like, the Observer was able to reveal a little bit, like, the scandals moving around inside that Radiant jun inside that Dire Jungle. But you're 35 seconds until the Enchantress is back. Is this when you can go? Like, you got no lasso, is it, is it still doable? Uh, try not to overextend, like, just do as much damage as you can, like, from safe distance, And obviously. considering how they've been punished by buybacks before, I don't really think Fnatic are interested in... I mean, they, they did really 400, 400 damage to the tower, so that's something. Sure. <laughs> so, yeah, you don't have to commit heroes, you commit the board spirits with the uh, alacrity. Yep. Gem is almost up, Roshan will spawn in a minute. So, yep. And then the next night will come in minute 36. 36. <laughs> yeah. Well, they could force it a little bit early with the night time. And there's actually, uh, yeah, gem in the hands of DJ. Looks like also a BKB getting closer and closer for Ohio. Here. Now about 800 gold away from completing it. Mm. Yeah, they just need to wait for all those items to be done, then then go siege. Because if they make another mistake, and Doom gets more items, then it could be troublesome later. Because Doom can eliminate the Invoker, which is your most farm hero in the out of the fight every single time. And even for Gyrocopter, he's not quite reached the point where he does much damage through the BKBs, but he gets a butterfly, then you put like another item on top of that, and suddenly he becomes a, a bigger threat moving forward. Yeah, like Fnatic's heroes is like they want to control the tempo, control your vision. They don't really have like a strong like carry hero, like all their heroes are semi-carries. So if Empire can actually get to that stage with the Enchantress getting another item, Maybe a moonshot, uh, and then the gyro getting the butterfly done. Do hello, hello. I don't think he has teammates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he's actually alone. He, well, he, his teammates are. He doesn't alone. believe this. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that guy standing there alone? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make any sense because literally it doesn't. <laughs> Only a high knew the truth. <laughs> It's like, are we, are we, are we a 4K you know, game when, now? When, when you're like the, the bad rider or the beastmasters and you see heroes like this, sometimes you look at the player, who, who's playing that hero? Like if you look at maybe someone who tends to always be alone, like maybe Hope Voss, then you, maybe you go for the play. But if you look at Burning Sling at that position alone, you know he's not alone. <laughs> That's like the mentality of the player sometimes. Like Burning would never be there alone. Right. Fnatic are now very much aware. Roshan is up. And at the same time, Empire now very much aware that Fnatic is moving around here, and they're gonna get rid of the wards again. Like they, this, this is why Empire can't have nice things. Contesting Roche, like the bat rider around the Roche pit. We saw last time you get one here on a cliff with Lasso. You've got the Deathling Blast. You've also got the potential for a flame brick. I think Empire just cannot contest this. It, it they does, smoke, it they're grouping up to dangerous. smoke though, so is that Empire making him? I think it's so they realize Net's still on the bottom lane. Like he keeps showing him on the bottom lane, so they know this isn't a very quick Roshan. Like Net's gonna jump him now and and do the work. So they will kill off Roshan. This is Aegis and Cheat later. Gonna buy a little bit of space, pull down, goes to work. Aegis he was in the hands of Net and Cheat. It gets into the hands of Rams. He's, he's also got the butterfly, but again, Ohio trying to clip him and he's going to be able to do it. BKB or not, he's stuck up there. And now just pick up while actually... No, nope, they'll take out the line. Uh, so not too healthy, but it's the XT model. Sorry, no TP. He can't get out. Uh, that's a problem. He's going to drop the cheese. He's so asked. someone can give him a TP <laughs> troll. So he can TP down. The Sunstrike is looking for something here. So now it's Afterlife who will blink himself down off the hillside. What tomato? Back. Send him up, at least put the blink dagger on the cooldown, but that's going to be all. Is now Maposhka, old oh, careful with four staffs. Wow, helps with the damage. Good fight for him. Blimps, blimps. Yep, there he goes. Blimps on the Invoker. Yules doesn't cancel that one. In fact, he's going to self Yules. Uh, and can't invoke anything to get himself out of that fight. So, oh my god, is Empire actually going to turn this game around? <laughs> anything is possible. This is the one of Dota. Look at this, like right now we're looking at a freaking wave graph. 
This it's, it's like fanatic build a big advantage and then some horrible fight them happens. And Empire gets something back in return. This will also be a tier 2 tower. If they can get the buyback from the Invoker and delay that side device of his, might be even better unless that's meant to be a defensive Lincoln Sphere. DJ caught out. They don't have Glimpse because the sound's over on King R. And DJ, man, he gets locked in time. He, he's trying to drop Gem on the high ground to someone else from Fnatic to try and recollect it. They're not going to happen in Ohio. He doesn't have his 4 staff available. He does have the BKB. But they're trying to keep Empire away from their tier 3 tower if possible. Uh, this is not looking good for Fnatic right now. They might be forced to use their buybacks. Alright, that's one buyback. And yeah, that's the Night Stalker. Makes it so Empire at least feel a little bit more defensive and it's fine. Like, Night Stalker buys back, what does he really delay? If the Invoker buys back, you say goodbye to your, to your early hex. Mm, I say early. It probably delays, I, I think like the, the best item probably could get is a Vlad's yep. for his team. Okay, for the Earth Star. Yep, but that's the link from the, the glimpse in the doom. Mm. That's the Lincolns for the invoker. Now, this is actually really, really, really uh, stressful for Fnatic right now because the, the game has started to fall into like the timing window of the doom and the gyro. Like this hero, these two heroes plus and challenges are becoming really, really strong right now towards the later stages of the game. And Ursa is like kind of limited, you know, like what you can do right now, and you're not ahead, that's the Ursa. Like the Ursa is actually not that rich. Mm -hmm. Where are all these gems now? So you got one over from Scandal, I'm assuming the other one's back on, yeah, back on Korea. And both of these gems belong to Fnatic, <laughs> and I haven't had to expend any cash for a gem. And they still have Shigis over on uh, Ramsey's. Another thing to keep in mind during the next fight. They need. They would need to instantly pop down that gyrocopter who's got 2k life and the he, evasion of butterfly. Yes, butterfly. Yeah, like there's no MKB. So as long as he's able to pop his BKB before the lasso happens, then he should always be fine. And this is actually looking pretty good in team fights for Empire. They have completed so many of their big items for the late game. And it's not just one or two heroes. They've truly got. The damage spread across four of their cores. Here comes Fnatic. Oh, this has to work. Oh, there's all five heroes of Empire. They're ready. They're waiting. That rise can rule. Gets a pretty class through. Dragging over Ramsey. Just net. Goes to work over on the puck. They already got the drop down with the finger. Jet to take the Gyrocopter as well. He couldn't get the cheese up in time. And Afterlife is slowed down by that ice wall of the Invoker. They just can't work. They have to back out. Uh... And Team Empire now. Three heroes on the sideline, two of them with buyback. I thought they were ready for that. Do so. They looked like they were ready for that, but apparently not. Like, Gyro didn't manage to pop his BKB and... Well, they couldn't uh, see him. They couldn't see him, right? You got to think, it's like, oh, we've got the high ground advantage. No, <laughs> not against Night Stalker. Night Stalker has always got the high ground advantage, even when on the low ground. He yeah. sees you before you see them. Yeah. They have to buy back. If, if they lose this mid racks. I guess life is already hard enough when, you, when you're defending from inside your base. And they're still not high back. They're gonna lose their Rex. Yep. I, bet uh, it, I guess really the call, I guess the call is not to buy back. You got no Drick call? Like, okay, King Arthur is the most exposed. The impetus damage on the mid one, she dropped down to half-life. And just, okay, yep, yeah, they're gonna try and avoid the buyback. Doom's up in three seconds time. They don't have fortification still, so the range racks will fall. And with a glimpse on the DJ, Fnatic may be forced to the fight. DJ is just going to try and TP out. Not going to happen with Infernal Blade there. So DJ will be the sacrifice. Well, I kind of And they keep the melee racks alive. Yeah, I kind of expected them to lose the melee racks. Okay, range rack is fine for not using the buybacks. Like, Fnatic were really afraid of like committing fully on getting both the racks. They were like really, really careful. Committing hard against Glimpse, like, there it's just a Night Stalker, but if you commit your core heroes, it could have been an Invoker or something, so... A 40-minute Mask of Madness what? Huh? for Ramses. What? Uh, what? Is he... No, 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 Helm of the Dumb. <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I what? think it, it flashed up him, but yeah, yeah, yeah. said Mask of Madness. <laughs> he must have misclicked and then, yeah, he must and have... And then instantly it, solved? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be... No, I saw it as well, I'm like, that makes no sense. I'm like, what? <laughs> Okay. I know the We're not but... going insane. <laughs> and the players themselves, it's like... It's like, when did we start this day? So, Roshan... 
uh, it's gonna take a while before it spawns and Fnatic Smirk. lost all their gems, right? They do not have any more gems. Uh, there's one gem sitting on the courier for Team Empire. Um, if you're meaning Fnatic, yeah, yeah. They, they lost all their gems. He's gonna he's he's gonna build a helm what a, a Sage into Heaven's Halberd, I guess, on the Night Stalker next instead of the Vlads I was talking about before. That's the jar. I mean, that jar is BKB is dropping a fair amount of time. Half life initiates. Three four three is gonna get the hex off. Rams in his way, and they had to know they're smoked up with the tornado. Picking up the doom, the EP burns. There's no stun to keep him in range of the EMP. Hope they see the bat. Can they get him? There's your doom. Dream trial as well. Ohio. Oh, he'll go down. And at the same time, okay. Wow. That invoker just just wrecked the disruptor. Life of a support against Fort Spirit. Yeah, playing, <laughs> you feel like you're playing 5v7 when you're a support against Invoker. <laughs> Look at the play from mid one as well. I actually know he's TPing out. I thought he's gonna run down towards that bottom lane, push out a little bit, and then join the rest of his team for defense. But I mean, you can see like the game is getting a lot harder for Fnatic right now because Empire's heroes are scaling much better. They're getting a lot more strong. All their heroes can do damage. Invoker scales pretty pretty damn well into the late game. Yeah, but you're relying on one hero to do damage, yep. whereas Empire's yeah. like what they they have. A few heroes that can do damage, Gyro, uh, Doom, and Chantress. Once he gets the Octarine, I'm having a lot more confidence I, in, in this Invoker. Yeah, and but can Gyro he, BKB is getting Can he do short. it all alone? He has Dude, a little bit it's of Invoker. He's never alone. He has <laughs> magic. Magic is his friend. Uh, just... He doesn't have any like true good late game carry alongside him, but he's got great kind of control from heroes like Lion, Batrider, the vision advantage of a Night Stalker. So it's all this utility on the side of Fnatic versus uh, the firepower of Team Empire. I, guess, I, I could definitely I guess see your point though. Both the Australians here have a lot of faith in Fnatic. Yep. I, I, well, I have, I have faith in him. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have all on that. We have all seen what it, like invokers can do. Yep. <laughs> Even from this position, yeah, without an actual carry. carry. Invoker is a carry in the late game, from what I've seen at least. Yeah. I I, I just wouldn't push him past like 55, because then you're going to hit a point where Invoker is pretty much capped out. Like, you, you could sell the Yule Scepter next for something else. Refresher? Uh, yeah. Yep. Refresh, yeah, refresher time. would make sense. Yeah, like refresh your hex, have the refresher in your stash, perhaps. Uh, he, can, he can't get both, though. Oh, he, he keeps it in his, in his career or stash, the refresher, mm -hmm. that is. A lot harder to use that double combo mid team fight, though. So you're, you're yeah. always going to you're not going to get full value out of a refresher if you have it as a seventh item versus a sixth item. Roshan hasn't spawned yet, just over a minute before he's back. Like, you hear Fnatic, like, like Fnatic were pinging out the mid lane. And but then no they instantly draw a line saying, let's move up this direction. So we're assuming they prepare a gank where they believe Empire is going to come to stop them from doing Roshan. And Empire just completely hightailed to their base because they know any fight that's going to happen, Fnatic will always get, have the vision advantage. They'll always see them first oh, and get that massive in? jump. Yeah, they're coming in. What? they got three right. buybacks to bubble. <laughs> Gyro, as well as Doom all have buybacks for this. They don't see the opening and now Ohio. Oh, Doom? Afterlife is probably the only one they can reach here. And there it is. Blink, Lasso, but the Dream Call is going to keep Ohio actually absolutely nowhere. He's got his BKB up. The fourth off him out right now. Actually, that is an Aghanim's ulti from the puck. And Ohio is going to go down because when he got stunned and he's trying to run himself out of here. It's had of damage. They've got to stop this, but Candle, too far up. There's going to have a buyback out from the Doombringer, but that damage is still there from the Enchantress, so he just uses the rest of his teammates as human shields to try and find another hero opening. As he'll be thrown up towards the air, now that is one way to stop the damage. EMP burned it all off, and another gem now being lost. Man, the Doom was like, I don't know, man, again, it's in such a far, far position. He used his buyback, they got a 2 for 2 trade. I don't think it's as bad as it looks to us, because from his perspective, he was farming at his tier 3 tower. <laughs> like, is that is he really far up, Winter? You're like, okay, these creeps are hitting, like, at my tier 3 tower. Yeah, they're not hitting the tower because they're going to creep wave, but... <laughs> Disrupt them? Disrupt them? <laughs> at least dodge the sun strike. But these four spirits are coming over to look at Roshan. Tornado will fly, DJ's giving all the vision, EMP as well. The four spirits are still causing issues. Finally, okay, one of them's being converted over by the helm of the Dominator. So one now finds for the cause of a dire. And then he resummons and now it doesn't fight for him anymore. 
They're gonna try and steal the Roshan. Three for three. He can actually blink into Ravage. almost Ravage right now. The cat down three heroes. The cooldowns on the way. Definitely Flash Finger, Death Disruptor. He's clipped and will burn to the medium. But Roshan, 600 life. The Sunstrike will hit, but Roshan, it's flown to Empire by another e another tornado up by mid one. Does he have a control? He does. Puts down the Ice Wall. Three for three. Burns the Aegis to Mono, which is the hands of the Enchantress. The Lasso Ramsey's put him up on the hillside. So he can. He'll actually consume the cheese. But be, be stuck on a very advantage spot. Half life so low, and the force spirit is still in there to finish the jump. Ramsey, where do you go? Like you're locked in here. DJ still fighting over on the side, but Ramsey just has to burn. A double kill will be there for mid one. Three heroes down for Empire. Only the gyrocopter has buyback, and they're already making a break for mid. Ned's trying to find himself an opening. Scandal was the closest thing he was going to get. The observer will actually sees him going in. He's got Blink off cooldown, and he blinks and instantly attacks the intent of the Sunstrike. It's gonna be enough to get the kill! This will open up the mid racks, and they can go for any other lane with no tier 2 towers up, and Empire just they, they buy back. They need to defend this, but they're out of position. The Jarakov is set up, has the PKP up, but Nets all over him. Ramsey, the damage output, even forced off out the line, will go down the Jarakov. He's got a flag and a burst damage, but Net will die underneath the tier 1 towers. A little bit too deep there. As mid one the has to him. escape yeah. back out he again. Got the gyro that fought back, so yeah. like it was, it was really good. I think I'm a bit lucky to kill the gyro with the, the, the bash. The... Yeah, he got the bash. Gyro also like seemed to turn around and stop running for a second, perhaps the pathing around those tier four towers. But they still need to get the racks. Like that's yeah. what they came here for. They forced five acts, I guess. I, I, you, you want the racks? Yes. Like scandal all oh, oh, higher. He really, really wanted that. He's not going to get it, however, and then Impetus damage is still a huge problem. Tornado, EMP. I was going to say, they want that rack. Midman's like poking Radiant closer and closer, and finally decides it's not worth his life. Uh, do you guys keep count how many times Fnatic cleaf Empire Heroes this game? <laughs> it's at least four. Four Radiant fights. Yeah, because you, you had two in one fight as yep. well. Two in one fight, and then we had a couple in a row. We had the one where the they had picked up the cheese and got stuck. Yeah, it's been four, I think. Your empire thinking like who's someone buying four stuff here? Um, I mean they have both. they have a four stuff on Enchantress. Oops, I that one. It's like they're only real kiting though against the uh, sir. Yeah. I say that when you've also got Nagadim's Dream Coil as well as Glimpse, so maybe they got a little bit more. I think the main change they could have made was go for the four stuff instead of the Glimmer Cape on Disruptor. Having a second four stuff would have perhaps helped them a lot more this game. Hmm. I think this Aghanim Scepter upgrade may also be a very big help. But they need to give him an extra yeah. 700, 800 gold. That's not going to happen when Puck does things like that. Oh, this Scyther might be useful. Look at the PKBs on a Gyro. Five seconds. How bad? Even on the Enchantress too. Yeah. He's been building into that for a very long time though. Like we're 50 minutes into this game practically. And he started that like I think it was 15, 20 minutes ago. Yep. He started that halberd. And I remember you say you saying that 55 minutes is the timing where you would worry about fanatic. He yeah. took a long time to build it, Toby, just because he knew it'd get be better the longer it took. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't worry, guys, we got it's, it now. It's just like a fine wine. <laughs> I'm sorry, this halberd can only be created if I barrel it. Now that okay, Ramses is also starting to increase his money. He's gonna have a satanic fairly soon. Is that in fact? Uh, the Shiva's guard for Afterlife, <laughs> currently sitting there. Sure. He's, he's too short of the money for it, however, so it's just sitting there for the moment. But the Jaro is 5.9k. If you're, if you're thinking Rapier, I, I don't oh. think this is the game for that. <laughs> Scott, think... Scotty might be nice, so it's pretty good with this. I really like the, the Abyssal Blade after the Satanic. Oh, he's picked up Demon Edge. Nice. Okay, so he's going damage. Uh, Rapier, I guess. Uh, well, does he need NKB? Ah, uh, he no. needs to live. Oh, against the Nightstorm. They're gonna Glimmer Cape, disrupt the Glimmer Cape himself to get back into the base. So Ohio is on the hunt with a haste rune. Gonna get zoomed up as well as Dream Call. They'll take the stun and then see if they can push Ohio far enough away to survive. But DJ locked inside that disrupt the ulti. They're gonna lose too. Great, great initiation from Afterlife. If, if Empire ever get the initiation in these fights, <laughs> they got it. They got the Rex. Objective achieved. That's what, that's what it's all about. A fight where Empire get the jump is a fight Empire will win every single time. Like, getting a Doom on the bat right before he lassos, that just shouldn't happen if you're a fanatic. Okay, he ran for the rapier. Okay. 
I was kind of with you, too. I didn't think it was necessary this I, game. I, are you really that far behind? Just nah. Like... <laughs> they're, they're not even that lacking in terms of damage, so I don't know. I mean, it's still fine. But there's also no hero on the Radiant side that's going to make much use of a Rapier. You should lose it. Yeah, but it's like an unnecessary risk. Yeah, you, it's, it's like you lose yeah. it, you just lost Because you don't need the Rapier to win the game. Obviously, one, one fight to go poorly when an Ice Dog is just like, Hey, I can see you and you can't see me. Surprise, I now have your eyes. Even if there's no Radiant here, that benefit a lot from Rapier. It's still a, like 12, 12k gold. Switch. It's just Could the risk, like the overall risk. Like I don't feel like Empire in a position where they are so desperate that they need something like this to actually win yep. the game. Or over something else that like, could have been a lot simpler, like like MKB or Daedalus, like that could have worked. Actually just completing a Satanic. I even think like like just getting more HP, like yep. as long as you survive, and then you'll be fine. Like even well, a Skadi. You, your Satanic is going to give you that like, more Satanic, HP Skadi, eventually. Like Satanic, Skadi is good versus Ursa in team fights as well. So oh, yeah. More kiting. Yeah, you can kite him around. So, see, now, now you start to worry. Like this Ursa is 50 gold away from having a, an Abyssal Blade. If you could jump in and get that initial stun. Man, if I'm the Ursa now, like, I'm gonna think about all inning this Iro getting his rapier. <laughs> yeah. Even if he doesn't get to pick it up, like the Invoker drops his heal scepter and just grabs up the rapier, you'd still be really happy with the result. Yeah, just dying the gyro at this point is well worth it for Net. They just need to get that rapier back. That's the only downside. There's still so much control coming out from Empire. Like, you got two. Like, Aghanim's upgraded great control ulties out from Empire. Like, both the Storm as well as the Dream Call. And this Enchantress is still pumping out so much bloody damage. Like, she's got a Moonshot completed on herself at the moment. Like, I just don't know how Fnatic can really deal with that. Like, because you, you worry about the Gyrocopter, and then the Enchantress tears you apart. But you, then you attack the Enchantress, the Gyrocopter's gonna tear you apart. You deal with it by putting the Gyrocopter in the cliff again. I had this weird just feeling that Gyrocopter's gonna end up on a cliff around the Roche end. <laughs> well, like, I the just, Rapier just sits on the Something tells me, like, five meters from now there's gonna be a Roche fight and Gyro's gonna get stuck in the do, do you just bait it? You leave the Rapier sitting on the hillside. <laughs> Would you like to come for this? You can if you want to, but if you do, we'll probably kill you. And there's just that device now over on mid one, so he won't be dropping that. He sells his yield up for it. Yep. Still has buyback available. And Roshan's still away, like a decent spawn time away. If anything, Empire will have that before Rosh comes back up, because every Rosh fight's not exactly gone well for them. It really hasn't. Ursa's now at the point where, wait, did he just. Okay, so Nets yeah. buying the gem and delaying up his buyback. The, the cause buying the gems this game for Fnatic, not the supports. That's... What's it for though? Like you What's get line getting nothing. Hmm. Four didn't stuff goes at the blink dagger. Gem, but... Night Stalker didn't have money for gem. Or he almost had money for it. I you can kind of understand. It's, it's when there. you want to like this second. It's like right this second, Empire could have a warden us, which could give them a blink doom initiation. We lose lose a game. So if you're a hundred gold short, you ask someone else to buy the gem. And I think from Net's perspective, he's just wants to play it safe and hold on to his buyback as well. Like the lines being drawn by mid one. I don't know really what that's meant to mean, but there's three purple lines all drawn down towards the Empire base on every single lane. Let's push it's everything. It must it's the, the keep everything one. pushed out. Keep them. It's the let's starve them out. Keep them in their base so we get a free Roche. Look how long they have to wait though. It's almost yep. two and a half minutes. But Empire, they're starting to group up as five and come out through the bottom. They're peeing out in the hillside because they're trying to find the vision of Fnatic, but. Fnatic's vision is, is a lot more defensive, and it's only this. Like, you got this ward, but I don't want to count that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't give you jack all. Oh, here comes the this. bat. Is he going to go in? Need the Night Stalker vision. That is so ballsy if they can do it. DJ's going to give it to him. So they can see it. BKB, trigger the Lincoln Spear. Oh, and, and well, no last suit. Too much oh. damage. He'll take this on as well from the Beam Call. The BKB is one off, and Ohio is going to go down. He did soak up the Doom as well. They're trying to find sufficient to get a glimpse off. 343 is the one over in, in the uh, tree line. And the rider, well, he's back well. Look at BKB there too. I think scared of a glimpse because the shivers like clipped him at the edge. I don't think Empire even realized the shivers had clipped him, but. They they, they see the orbs ward, but they need someone with range to kill it. Okay, 343 is going to do the job for him. It's very hard to first break the Lincolns on Puck, and then also lasso him afterwards. Yeah, Unless nice. Puck is really so nah. I think you just can't go for that play. That's, you, you, you can't go for the that's play, a, I think. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it's a mistake from a high to even try and make that play onto the Puck. Anyone else but the Puck. Yeah, this is basically it. Satanic is now done on Ramses, but does not have buyback. 
with this purchase. In fact, with the buybacks going on, like, because Batrider did buy back in that last little engagement. Didn't really achieve much for it apart from Empire backing away from Roshan. And the rest of the fight. But you still got, like, you can have a double Invoker in the fight. Because mid one, obviously, he's going to have those BTs. Just TP on top of a hero. With his buyback, he's looking good. Batrider's actually now going to go for an Ether Lens. Oh, they're still waiting. Roshan's up in 20. It's back to daytime for a very critical moment of this game. They have darkness, so, so mm, they can yeah. force it. Mid one's going to get the vision up too, but he's tornadoes on cooldown for the moment. Another three seconds. Almost a preemptive darkness just to like secure the Rosh area, de water everything. Knowing that even a max Rosh tree spawn is gar it's guaranteed to respawn in the next 15 seconds mm. at max. So they, they make sure that darkness is there ready. Mm. This is so and frustrating to play against the Night Stalker. Well, that's the thing. If you're Empire, you're like, we're stronger in a team fight, but we can't contest Roshan because of the, the lasso on the gyro pulling him onto the a cliff. cliff. <laughs> yeah, it's the cliff. You have a full staff, but let's say Enchantress gets dealt with elsewhere. Like, there's a good chance Enchantress gets blown up by a lion, for example, and suddenly gyro's on the cliff. Enchantress is dead. Game's over. Okay. So. Do you do you give something like the Aegis Immortal to Ohio and like cheese to net? I like it. Just, like, just, Ohio with Aegis sounds good. Just, just because like Ohio is the one initiating and he keeps soaking up Zoom, he keeps soaking up different abilities. But it looks like they're gonna give it to net. He'll take the Aegis Immortal and DJ holds on to the cheese. It's Ohio has been the number one. He's the number one Doom target before pre lasso, so. Smoke movement by Empire? This is a let's kind of catch Fnatic by surprise kind of play. Yeah, they just picked up Aegis. I'll never be expecting this. It's <laughs> an odd direction to run. Well, they're drawing towards the top lane. I'm not. Yeah. Really? It, this this uh, looks like a, a yeah. like a wrap around. Yeah. Like this, this has to be like like a run through and that direction. As soon as Fnatic sees the middle lane, they they're gonna know what's up. <laughs> yeah. This has now entered the base. It's two minutes of daytime. But they're ready. Here they come. Then reveals the smoke uh, re and instantly into darkness. Yep. They still see uh, Disruptor, Silenced, Void. Can they get a pick off? And he just, yeah, okay. With a four stuff up, they let the last two go off, and they got Randy. Drag back handle. He's looking for more. The definitely blast making it difficult. Randy's so damn low. Ravia, keep it in mind. He turns on the Titanic instantly up in life. The damage is ridiculous. DJ almost down to just the impetus as well. Sets back into the fighting world. He wants Randy, but he will not get it. Oh my god. Oh boy, the damage is huge, but you're still, like your home is still in trouble, your tier 4 towers are dropping low, you gotta come back. So, so close. Start but getting in before. <laughs> he, he took two hits to get back oh up to 70, god. like 80% yep. life. Like that's, that's just, that's the second satanic play we've had. Vibe it before, yeah. now it's gonna be That's why people were mentioning that they didn't have to actually take this out of risk, because they had more than enough damage to actually win the team fights. They just need to make sure that Ramses doesn't die in the team fight. <laughs> oh, delay the push any way you can. I mean, it looks like we're on course for a third game. <laughs> it's it's quite possible, but you never know. This Raft keeps swinging. Radiance middle tower. It is, however, the first time since Hire really Radiant had such a big advantage in the game. And what do you really lose here if you're Fnatic? Like, Radiance middle tower Empire is still being very tentative about pushing up. The tornado just okay. Didn't actually pick up most of the creep wave, but the meatball yeah. should be able to do a lot of that work. And if you're Empire, you are scared of a bat rider buyback. You okay? So it's on cool then. Never mind. It's, so yeah, it's just the Earth who's got it currently. Yeah. So they don't know this. And now, well, silence from Scandal. Jumping on top of TJ, he'll take the stun. And then three, four, three jumps in. Finger of death, Ramsey. He's still got the rapier. Oh. And it's down. It's on the deck. Somebody pick it up. It's still on the ground. Net. Oh boy. Where is it? He's leaving it. They don't, don't know. They're out there. We'll fight it in a moment. Oh, nice, nice soccer has rapier. Nice soccer has rapier. Nice nice soccer has rapier. <laughs> okay, so DJ's got the damage. Empire <laughs> has it all gone horribly, horribly wrong. The damage from the intent is almost killing off mid one for DJ. He's pumping out almost 600 a pop. And the intent is hiding in the tree line. I think she dies from this fall even. Yep, she does. Hits the ground. Gems come back the way of Empire. Okay, blame me for that. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Game tree. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> Whoa.
At least it's on the Night Stalker, but it's still on the Night Stalker. He's got 2.9k gold now. Get some AC or something in, into the picture. Look at the swing! Do you, do you believe in the late game invoker now, Winter? Do you believe? <laughs> well, was that really the late game invoker, however? Like, was... that lion made so yeah, much li space. Lion invoker <laughs> bursting down the gyro there, just... They just do so much damage before he can even get off his BKB, and Empire don't have a good counterplay to it. Oh, boy. At least the upside for Empire is, yes, Enchantress is down for the count, but... The old, both the side lanes are pushed in pretty heavily, Fnatic. If they're gonna go for this, like, they may be considering the GG push. Oh yeah, she, uh, the Kree can push up through mid and then you go for something else. Afterlife, oh, we caught out. DJ, Sans from Disruptor, he does not want to have that home down. Uh, and they're gonna get the kill, and goodbye Doombringer. Buyback is off cooldown. Oh, uh, so we can okay. use it. Oh no, what was he doing again? Jaro still lives for this fight, so... Uh, Lion's also the not boss. there. I'm just gonna flag that one too. They're, they're yeah. missing one of their big heavy disables. And Empire, well, fortifications down. Now they're gonna throw up the wall and the ulti over on mid one. Support's moving forward as they get the drink call off as well. Mid one not looking too healthy. He's going to die. And Ramsey's... Well, he BKBs and he actually gets 1200 gold for killing on a beyond godlike in photo. Time for another rave for you, boys. 5.1k in the bank. You may as well. Uh, yeah, at this point, you may as well. Uh, he, he actually yeah. has to. Yeah, it's getting the, the rapier now is now fine. Makes sense. Uh, Wait, no. hang on. Oh, he's going to be He wants that five back. Yeah, he's, got, he's got just enough. Yeah, if he bought the, the relic first, he wouldn't have had back, I believe. No, I, I don't. So? I don't think he really cares too much. Like once he's got the full rapier, yeah. he'll just commit. He to doesn't it. care at that point. It's more before you have the full rapier. It's a bit, a bit silly to buy one component that's gonna break your, break your bank. Well, this is nice for scandal. He gets a side device up against a nice stalker who obviously wasn't expecting to have a rapier. Uh, so <laughs> he, he doesn't have his BKB for protection. So nice stalker should get a BKB now, so he can just run in, run in and kill the support. <laughs> Well, he's got 4k gold. We could do it, just sell the urn. A little bit longer to wait for Roshan. There's a decent amount to go through the BKB with the Ags on the Enchantress. Got the the puck with the Ag stream coil, so. Why don't Team Empire pinging out here? Like the Doombring is currently going walkabout up on top lane. He's not going to find anything here. But the rest of Empire is ready to attack on the bot lane. It's like, it's like they are looking for a pickoff just to create space and uh, say hello to your rapier. Nice. Wait, wait, end, end, end day one here. <laughs> rapier versus rapier, both belonging to the gyrocopter. But there's thieves among us. Yeah, Fnatic <laughs> were the team that were buying all the gems earlier, so now Empire's <laughs> the team that buys all the rapiers this game. <laughs> I'd rather be... Uh, when Good next trade, time I'm yeah. playing against you, I'll, I'll buy you a gem if you give me a rapier, okay? Uh, I'll take that trade. That's obviously the even trade. Look, I'll give you two gems for a rapier, how's that sound? 3 for 3 just bought a veil of Discord. He doesn't have it on him before this fight's gonna oh. begin. It's, it's all about the burst onto the gyro, pre KB. They know they can get him with lockdown, and there's no uh. the Empire can't counterplay it. But they just need to maximize that damage output. Did you put a Vlad's? So oh, he, he doesn't buy the BKB; he gets the Vlad's instead. He'll have buyback as well as the like Vlad's at this stage of the game is such a good item to have just because it's percent base and bonus damage. But it's better to have a BKB when you have a rapier, I guess. Mm. <laughs> but even if he loses the rapier and buys back, he, like his vision is what can be game changing. So. I, I suppose like the three major controllers as well. Like you think about it, Storm goes through BKB, Trickle goes through BKB, Doom goes through BKB, and the Enchantress is a ma major attack also goes through BKB. It's also quite Randy. Get up down. Secondary rapier to be given over. Randy is down. The rapier is on the deck. Pick up a second one, why don't you? Scandal's trying to pick up, and he's got it. It's in his hands right now. Net's in a little bit of trouble. Doomed up, but half is being pushed out. Mid one's doing some work, and Net, the storm, got enough to kill him off. 3 for 3 is after the denial, but really, Empire, you've lost too much now. They're pinging out the top racks. They can have a crack at it. This is the yours on the deck. Oh, no, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. That was so Puck could at least give the Rapier back over again to the Gyrocopter, but he can't buy back. Yeah. So top Rex will go down, Roshan becomes available. 
But do you just keep going at this point, knowing there's no secondary, there's, there's no gyro again? Yeah, uh, absolutely. They don't know for sure about the gyrocopter buyback status, but they should have a pretty good idea. When you're buying a rapier in a kind of desperate position such as this, it's at, well worth At least you want to force the buyback. Yeah, force the buyback. Yeah. On Fnatic's side, you have buybacks yourself to fall back on, and they're just pushing this very cautiously. Four spirits in front. Half life. Jump forward. There's a BKB to go. Ohio needs a good target. Finger of Death already gone on half life, dropping him down to one side of his life. So strike. Little enough target, but the damage from DJ is still so huge. You block your Doombringer. Scandal will join him as well in the afterlife. Phase shift will only delay the inevitable as DJ. He's just munching on everyone. He'll move over towards Scandal. The sun's there, but there it is. Good game, Wildblade. Fnatic will 2-0 up Team Vampire. And it looks like Whitewash is, is the name of the game here in our primary stream for the ESL1 Manila. A lot of long, close games, though. It's crazy to think, like, all two zeros, but none of the series felt like they were a clear cut. Even, like, looking at, like, Liquid versus Wings, for example, just before this, it was like, Wings really tested them. Every single series today has been neck and neck, and Fnatic into the semifinals. Yeah. Really great showing from them. So they get themselves a wonderful day off. Empire will go into the burner, having to play in one of the last two series tomorrow night. Of course, for all that information, you uh, you can check out all your wonderful.